Hi there, uh, today I'm going to be showing you the root R one-click semi-web-based Android routing system I've been working on. Uh, I've been trying to build a web-based root for around two months now, uh, so that people just need to go to a website and click a button to root their phone or tablet. Uh, technologically speaking, this is possible, and root R is kind of the first stage in that process. Uh, root R is web-based, and it uses a vulnerability Android browser image caching system to root the device, but it requires de desktop-based software at the moment to actually send the payload. Uh, I, I am working on making the process fully web-based and as automated as possible. Uh, so all you need to do is uh, load up the root R software and uh, plug in the Android device. Uh, then you just need to click root the root button and the process begins. Uh, so firstly, root R checks all the vital statistics, like the software version of baseband, to see if the device is rootable. And then it uh, prepares the exploit payload and sends it off. And so the payload itself is actually being sent to the browser vulnerability. Uh, so once I get a little bit better at this, I'm going to try and make it so that the payload can be sent directly from the browser. Uh, then of course the device is rooted, just like uh, any other routing system. But the, the, because because of the direct nature of this, it's actually a little bit faster than uh, most of the other routes that you can get out there. And finally, the kernel's rebooted and the process is completed, uh, all in less than about a minute. Okay, and you can see it's completed, and my phone is now rooted. Uh, I'll show you a video of this from a phone perspective in a little bit. Uh, as I said, this, or as it says above, it's uh, this currently runs on 2.3.x, uh, gingerbread as well as 3.x1x, honeycomb, 4.0.x. Uh, uh, ice cream sandwich, and I, although I haven't tested it on Jelly Bean, I don't think there's any reason why it shouldn't. Um, it also runs on all the phones and tablets I've currently tested it on, although I do want to do a little bit more testing before I actually release this. Um, but anyway, this is an important first step, and uh, let's see that from... let's see what it looks like from the phone.